Hey everyone, this is Alan here. I've enjoyed videos from the woodworking community on YouTube and, um, you know, some of my rock stars out there are like The Wood Whisperer and uh, Stumpy Nubs, Four Eyes, Paul Sellers. Um, too many to, to name and, and too many to thank. Uh, this is my first woodworking video and maybe my last, but I just want to give thanks to the community by, by showing a modifiable box or uh, finger joint jig. It's modifiable because you can actually uh, slide this this uh, pin portion right here and therefore you can actually change the spacing between uh, the pins as well as the, 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 the size or the diameter of the pins. So you can go from you know one eighth box joints here to one quarter, three eighths, one half, etc, etc. Um, and you know, I just want to point out uh, a couple of key elements to this. Well, first, instead of most of your box joint jigs have this pin, but really this isn't that necessary. It's actually this width between the, the blade itself. And by the way, my, my table saw is unplugged and off, obviously. And, and this, this, uh, this metal pin that I have here, and really it's, it's the spacing that, that counts uh, more than the actual width of this pin right here. So you're spacing, you're pushing against this area right here, and this determines um, the, the diameter of the cut here, but also the spacing between um, the, the pins themselves, so that makes that clear. And basically you're, you're just putting the next pin next, next to this, and it's really the spacing that counts uh, between the blade and uh, whatever pin that you use. And the thing that's different about this jig is that you can see that there's a metal plate right here. I just use uh, something from a, a door actually, and I just screwed it into this side. And what you can see is that this front backing board actually can slide back and forth. And it slides, uh, it's attached to a rear backing board by two quarter inch screws. Um, that are about two inches long. And on the, the rear backing board, I've actually routed um, these slots right here where the screws can slide and it, they can be tightened or loosened uh, with these wing nuts with uh, washers right here. And so uh, in terms of the width itself, this is how I can determine uh, what I need. Um, and so, you could do the traditional standard by using your, your fence and, you know, cutting the thickness of the pin that you need, or you can just kind of use a caliper and, and, you know, it's, it's your preference, but this is how I do it. I, you know, this is a three eighths inch, uh, dado stack, and I'm just going to demonstrate that it is three eighths inch, like right here. Oops. It's always different on camera, right? Here we are three eighths inch right here. And what I'll do is I just want that same spacing between my metal pin and the blade itself. So I'm just going to go touch this one jaw against the, the, the tooth that blade and then just slide my, my jig so that the metal portion touches the other jaw. So this should be three eighths right here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just make sure before I lock it um, to just kind of secure it with a vise right here. And then I can lock it in place right here. And then take off my, my grip, quick grip right here and I can see that I can't really move anything at all. It's nice and tight and and secure. And everything else to the, the, the jig is the same. There are these um, rides against these miter slots right here. Yeah, that's it. And here, this is an example of the work that you can do. This is uh, a bookcase with finger joints. There are three eighths um, on three eighths thickness board right here. And you can see it turns out not bad. And that's about it. Um, you know, I think like one quick point is that if you do this jig, remember that like the, the closer you are to the blade, the more narrow your pins are. So you, if you want a looser fit, then that's what you do. And if you 
want a tighter fit, you know, you, um, you can kind of tap it once so that you have a slightly fatter pin and then you, um, you'll have a, a tighter fit as well. So that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this slight modification and, and definitely let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you again to the woodworking community. Um, and that's it. Keep on woodworking. See you guys.